Uh, this Breeders' Cup action continues on Saturday, and Naira Betts continues for you, me, and everyone. If you're not a member, become a member. Use the promo code BC19. We'll match up to $200 for new members and also offer a risk-free $25 bet on either the Breeders' Cup Juvenile or the Breeders' Cup Classic, NairaBets.com, for more information. Also, this one we're talking about is a sprint. Maybe the best Breeders' Cup race all weekend. If you play any of the Breeders' Cup sprint races through Naira Bets, a 10% winner's bonus on all trifecta plays. The Breeders' Cup Dirt Sprint. I can't remember a more interesting and a more highly anticipated running of this race in all of the Breeders' Cups dating back to the mid-'80s than this year. This one is a doozy. And Matoli, in my opinion, is the leading contender for Horse of the Year along with Bricks and Mortar. And a win in this race would make him one of the two to beat, depending on what Bricks and Mortar does in the turf. This is Matoli winning in some ways what was the race of the year, and this was the Met Mile. He showed an ability to stalk, and he showed an ability to carry his speed going a mile. Yes, McKinsey had some trouble behind him in finishing second. Yes, there's an argument McKinsey should have won. But I still think that, McKinsey, that Matoli ran the best race because he was cutting it out in the front end, not on the gold rail, two and three wide, and buried the speed of coal front. Matoli's one bad race in Saratoga, he raced on a dead rail, but he also in that race was the hunted. He was down inside of the speed. He has been successful when he's been able to stalk. And that's a concern as he draws inside of the other main speed in here who will get to Chancelot. Can he let that one go? and get position outside of him. That's the job for Ricardo Santana. If he can do that, I think Matoli's gonna win this Breeders' Cup dirt sprint. I'm a big fan, and I think he is very much the one to beat. But many think that is Imperial Hint, who handed Matoli his only defeat in 2019. This is his last effort. The Vanderbilt that we'll talk about in a moment was his big, huge win at Saratoga. Imperial Hint got the run of this race. It was a small field, and he was able to control on the front end. The draw did him a big favor because drawing on the outside in here where he can survey the action is the place you want to be. But I'll tell you what, Frenzy Fire gave him all he could handle in this race. He gamely came back on the inside, and the track was very fair at Belmont, so I don't think that the rail necessarily propelled him in this race. And I respect Frenzy Fire, though I don't like him in this Breeders' Cup race. We'll see if he can bring his act to California. But I don't think he's as good as some of the others, and I don't love that effort. And it makes me ask... Are his best races in the last two years at Saratoga? His two figures in the Vanderbilt, 109 and 114, are the best, 108 and 114, best race he's run since the Breeders' Cup two years ago. His other efforts are okay, but they're not good enough to beat Matoli. He's good enough to win this race. He drew very well. I have great respect for Imperial Hint. But of the big players in this race, and I'll call them the big four, he's the one I'm going to try to beat. You have to try to beat somebody. I respect Catalina Cruiser. And Cataclina Cruiser may be very much a better one-turn horse. And this was his win at Belmont Park in the True North on Breeders' Cup, on, excuse me, on Belmont Stakes weekend. He got a good ride, but he was not right down on the rail, and the rail was very strong on Friday. He angled out in the three-to-four path in the stretch, and he ran down some talented horses, strike power on the inside, or took advantage of the bias as well as recruiting ready. He's meeting a tougher group in here, and I don't mind his rail draw because he's not going to get caught up in the pace. I think he's going to sit back behind them, and I trust Joel Rosario to work out the right trip. And I think the Catalina Cruiser is a player in this race and another layer in a very, very deep field. What about Chancelot? Let's take a look at Chancelot's Amsterdam because you just don't see performances like this. This was a good field behind him. He's not beating up on a bunch of plow horses. He just made him look like that as he won a six and a half furlong race with a 121 buyer in 114 flat. And the day after Imperial Hint's brilliant performance in the Vanderbilt, he made him almost forget about it with this incredible eye-opening, jaw-dropping performance. But what has happened since then? I can give him an excuse to the Jerkins. He was stretching out the seven furlongs. They went down to the inside, didn't use his speed as much as he should have. He still didn't run close to that race. And then he lost to Omaha Beach the next time. With all due respect to Omaha Beach, a good horse, he should have beaten him. He should have run a faster figure if he ran back to that race. Are we ever going to see that race? Well, 
I like the rider switch to Jose Ortiz. And I think that Jose and Jorge Navarro are going to say, we are taking no prisoners and we are going. And that is the way that Chancellor can upset this field. I think he's going. I think Matoli's going to sit behind him. And the others are going to have to make up the ground. I respect Chancellor a lot in this race. There's some people that want to make a case for horses like Engage or even a fan favorite Whitmore, who did not break well but did close last time out in the Phoenix. And while the Phoenix has been a good prep for the Breeders' Cup in the past, I'll be shocked if it's an effective prep this year. When you see this many horses across the wire in a dirt race particularly, it is probably a sign that it wasn't a very strong race. And while you can't not like Whitmore as a racehorse, he's just not fast enough to beat these horses, nor is Engage. Engage got it done with a very good trip and a very good ride, but not against the likes of who they're facing in this Breeders' Cup sprint. This is as exciting a race as I can remember in the Breeders' Cup program, or for my money, the most highly anticipated race during the entire weekend. I'm taking my, my favorite, Matoli on top. I think he's going to stalk and beat Chancellor, but I'm using Chancellor and I'm scared of his speed. I have great respect for Catalina Cruz and Imperial Hint, but you can only put so many horses first or second. In fact, only two of them. So I've got Catalina Cruz and Imperial Hint, my third and fourth choices in the Breeders' Cup sprint that I'll be playing through Naira Bets. Head on over. We'll match up the $200, your initial deposit. Breeders' Cup 19, BC19 is the promo code, which includes a risk-free bet on the Breeders' Cup Juvenile or the Breeders' Cup Classic. And as this is a sprint, and the last sprint in the Breeders' Cup program, a 10% winner's bonus to all trifecta plays made through Naira Bets.